what's up guys Jasper here I quickly want to show you how we carbonate beer at the brewery um, so let's go through it so first I use a flow meter this really helps for even carbonation and this is how we start it you want to chill your beer to at least 38 degrees or under preferably closer to 33 degrees before you start this process next you want to set your head pressure to your ZOM chart, saturation, pressure, and temperature. We have ours set to 13 right now, and this is at 35 degrees, so that's around a 2.75 uh, volumes of CO2. So once you have your head pressure set, we're gonna hook up our flow meter with Quick Connect. The first thing I do when I hook up this flow meter is just put a little Quick Connect on the end to ensure there's flow going through it. I'll bump this up to say 10 liters per minute just so we know there's uh, CO2 going that way in the line. We can unhook that, hook up this flow meter to our carb stone, and then we can turn on our carb stone. I like to set that flow meter down around eight cubic feet per hour, which is around 3.7 liters per minute. And that seems to be a good flow rate to help get that beer rolling in there. Too slow, it won't roll the beer, and it'll take too long. Too fast, and you're gonna bubble out um, some of that head retention. Right now, when you start, you wanna take an initial ZOM reading, so this will, be uh, usually around two, maybe 2.1. My technique is once I start this, I'll take another ZOM reading in a half an hour and I'll calculate how many volumes of CO2 that added in that half an hour. Then you can calculate how much time you'll need to hit the volumes of CO2 you want. Usually around a couple hours, but that depends on the carbonation level you want. So after, you hit the ZOM level you want. Your head pressure on your bright tank might be a little higher than your saturation point, so you're going to want to bleed down your head pressure back to that saturation point. You're going to want to bleed it very, very slow and not while you're carbonating. Something like, you know, something like that, real slow. So it might take you 10 or 15 minutes to go from 15 or 14 back down to that 13 to hold it at. You'll hold it at that. 13 PSI or that head pressure um, that you're looking for for 12 to 24 hours to help the wetting process of your CO2, those micro bubbles soak in. And after that 24 hours of sitting in here, you're ready to keg and ready to go. So I hope this gave you an example of how we carbonate beer. Cheers.